Hello everybody. So last week I got this Visa gift card and it didn't take me long to turn that into this. So if you're interested, I'll show you what I picked up. The first one here, definitely a classic from the great James Brown. The album is Sex Machine. It's a double album, actually a studio album, but it has audience sound on the top of it so it's made to sound like a live album and i think actually portions of it were recorded live but mostly it's a studio album made to sound like a live album and this is just excellent 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 the first disc here is more a lot more funky more danceable while the second disc is more like his previous material more like um live at the apollo and the first track here, it's called Get Up, I Feel Like Being a Sex Machine. That track, if that does not literally make you get up and shake your booty, then I don't know what will. It's just one of the funkiest tracks ever recorded, I think. And the whole, the first, the first side of the album, the first disc that is, the two, first two sides, definitely one of the funkiest set of songs I've ever heard. And it's incredible, it's, in, it's incredibly dancey, I mean, it, it just really <laughs> amazed me, so definitely if you're interested in dance music, if you're interested in funk music, soul music, give this a try if you haven't, it's definitely a classic and really one of my favorites, I have to say, this blew me away. So that's the first one there. Second one is the band Warpaint. This album was released last year, and it's called The Feel. This is more of an atmospheric kind of indie rock band. Somewhat very dreamy, but it also has this strange kind of undercurrent going on of some kind of energy. That when I listen to this music, I feel like there's some kind of energy that these uh, musicians are trying to get out. And they kind of build up to this certain point, but don't quite get there. So basically, I just, I, when I listen to this, I feel a lot of tension, kind of, but it's a good kind of tension. It's, it's exciting. Even though the music itself is very, kind of, somewhat bare and dreamy, but it has a certain quality to it that is really, catches my attention and makes me want to listen to it. I saw this band live at, at Coachella this year too, and they were really good live, so Warpaint, this album from last year, definitely a great album. And I, I wanted to get this since it was released basically, but it's always been over $20 when I found it. I finally found it for less than 20 so I picked it up. The third one here is LC by the Derudi Column. It is his first, no, second album that is, I think the first album he released was called The Return of the Dirty Column. Both of them great albums. And he's released a bunch, like, I don't know, 30 or 40 albums since then. It seems like once every year at least he releases an album maybe. And for the most part they're really great. This is actually mostly guitar, it's, it's mostly rock instruments that are being used here. But it sounds more like an ambient album. It's very lush, but also really ethereal. And the way this person uses the guitar is really, really unique and really visionary. And it's just a great listen. If, if you like ambient music and you like rock music, then check this out. If you like rock music and not ambient, I might be wary of checking it out, but still maybe something that could introduce you to more ambientish music. This is a Four Men With Beards reissue. The album came out in 1981, I believe, so it's kind of in that post-punk era. And sound-wise, it kind of is there too. It was released on, released on Factory Records. And another, another great one here. Then this one is Husker Du, New Day Rising. 
my first Toast for Do album. I have heard a few of them and do really like them, but wouldn't consider them one of my favorites. Mostly because the genre of punk rock, which is basically what this is, isn't really my forte. I generally prefer music that's a bit slower, to be honest, and more atmospheric. But if it has good songwriting, this this definitely has good songwriting. I, I could enjoy it, and this this is a great album, I'll admit. Um, yeah, that, that's basically Husker Du. A really great punk band, in my in my opinion. Somewhat bordering bordering on on post punk or more normal rock, but it's definitely still punk music. And actually, one of the I don't know one of the few punk albums I, I suppose I have. And this one is another one I've been looking for a long time. Burger Inc. with the album Las Vegas, released on Matador Records in 1996, I believe. And there are also two singles from this album that were released on, on uh, Harvest Records. So this is a German duo, was a German duo, of electronic music. This is mostly techno. And actually, I think this is probably one of the finest examples of what minimal techno is. So if you're interested in, in just checking out a minimal techno album to see what the genre sounds like, this is definitely a good place to start. So again, that's Las Vegas from Burger Inc. Inc is for Mike Inc, who is also known as Gas and about 20 other aliases. He puts out a bunch of material and most of it is really great, I think. And then Burger is Jörg Burger, who is also known as The Modernist, and also puts out some really great techno music, so these two are part of the main cast of musicians on Compact Records, and this is before Com Compact Records existed, so a lot of, a lot of the roots kind of, of, of the Compact sound is, is here, and definitely something to check out if you like that sound. An example of compact records here, this is Speecher number one. I think just last month they released Speecher number 69. This is Speecher number one released back in 2001. And it has four tracks here Jurgen Pape, Michael Mayer, Super Pitcher, and Optree. Optree again, that's another alias of Mike Inc. who was on that last album I showed. So, another example if you're looking for more music from here, him. Check out this. I actually found this for just a few dollars and it's in it was used in pretty much near mint shape, so that was a really nice find. It's feature number one, really nice. And this one is Galaxy 500. This is our music. Released in the early 90s, I want to say 91 or 92 maybe. And this is a really dreamy album, but also somewhat psychedelic and kind of alternative rock. And they, they also just really somehow get a lot of a certain emotion out of me that is not common, basically, I want to say. Um, if you like stuff like Brian Jonestown Massacre, I would probably check this out. It's a bit more dreamy, not not quite as noisy as a lot of the Brian Jones Town Massacre, but for some reason it it sounds kind of along the same vein to me. And another great album here. They released three albums. This is the third and final. The band split in two after this. And uh, this one and their album today, or rather, On Fire. Today was their first album. On Fire is also. Their second album, this one and On Fire, I think are great albums. Today's really good too, and this was just reissued on 202020 Records. It's a nice reissue, so another one that I was pleased to find. Galaxy 500. And finally, I got this 7 inch single from the one and only Anthony Fantano, who you may know from YouTube. He does album reviews. 
and I just uh, donated to his channel and, and he sent me this which is a single from Colin Stetson's album Judges and the song is The Righteous Wrath of, a, of an Honorable Man on the A side and the B side is basically a, a mishmash of the whole album Someone named Damian Taylor basically remixed certain parts of songs from the album together into one track and it's pretty interesting. It's really more more experimental than most of the album was. The album was already pretty experimental but this is really noisy, manipulated sound and it is good. If you liked, liked the album this is worth checking out. If you're not familiar with Colin Stetson I probably wouldn't start with this but do check that album out that was released this year from Colin Stetson. It was a great album. And it's nice to have that 7 inch single. So that is all. And until next time, adios.